Hello, everyone. Malik and I are here tonight to talk about a very important part of what Point does, mentorship. And I think it makes sense to have Malik as a presenter. Um, his character, Jonathan, in 30 Rock had a rather, let's say, unique mentor <laughs> in Jack Jonagy, Alec Baldwin's character. <laughs> Uh, yeah, um, I think you could pretty much call the Jonathan-Jack relationship um, a lesson in how not to mentor someone. Um, but luckily for Point Scholars, mentorship does not mean having to obsess over pleasing your boss, serenading him just to get his attention, getting fired multiple times. Hey, Mel, um, <laughs> could you tell us a little bit about your mentor? Because I just realized I could really use an example in a functional mentor relationship. <laughs> Absolutely. I feel very fortunate to have been paired with Dr. Ava Hayward, who is a faculty member at my grad school and who is now actually on my dissertation committee. When Point asked me if there's anything in particular I was looking for in a Point mentor, I told them I'd love to have someone who is trans and who works in my fields. Up until I entered grad school, I had never had a trans professor. And knowing that I wanted to teach in higher education, I was really hoping to connect with someone who could give me an idea of what that might look like for me. Uh, Mel is currently in their fourth year of the program and just started teaching as an adjunct professor. So Mel, um, how has having a mentor like Ava affected or changed you the most? So Ava is a really amazing role model and has made a lot of time to talk to me about everything from my studies to putting together my syllabi, which I canceled class to be here tonight, but I do love my students very much. <laughs> Um, to my teaching philosophy. Um, but beyond helping me to develop the practical tools that go into being a professor, my relationship with Ava has really helped me um, develop my confidence. I'm someone who has a lot of imposter syndrome, has struggled with that, especially during my first year of grad school. It's hard, um, needless to say, but Ava, in a way that has been both gentle and tough, really pushed back at me when I sank into self-criticism. And she encouraged me to challenge my ways of thinking so that I didn't lose my sense of adventure um, and just play it safe when it came to my research. Um, yeah, that, uh, that imposter syndrome and self-criticism is something that I know very well. In fact, I wrote a, uh, a novel about it. Um, it's about a 12-year-old gay Indian American boy, and it's called The Best at It because he thinks that he has to prove to the world that he's the best at something in order to exist, when in fact he just needs to be comfortable in being himself. And you know, that, that's something that I think our fields both have in common, whether it's academia or if it's the arts. I think that if you're constantly worried about what other, what other people think of you or if you're doing enough or if you're trying to think the right way, you lose the creativity that comes from delving into the things that can make you feel uncomfortable. And the scholars, like Mel, uh, uh, that Point supports are willing to be just that. They're willing to be uncomfortable. They're doing cutting edge work in psychology, medicine, law, the arts, public policy, and more. And we, we need them to be bold and brave as they create our collective future, especially right now. And mentorship plays a crucial role in fostering those qualities and turning scholars like Mel, into leaders in their fields. So let's give another round of applause for Mel Ferrara, yeah? Thank you, thank you so much. Um, and now we'd like to invite a newer member to the Point family and amazing Point scholar to share his story. Um, hailing from the western foothills of Appalachia in Ohio, he's currently a freshman studying financial economics at Columbia University. Please welcome Barbara Epstein Foundation Point Scholar, Maya Miller. Thank you. Thank you. 